Such shinobis, welcome back to Fall of Porcupine. We going to work today. We gonna be on time. We're gonna. Oh, it's a walrus. Morning there. Spare a few cents, my friend. Sure thing. New kid in town, huh? Haven't seen you here before. Yeah, I moved here a few weeks ago. Oh, not that new then. Guess we just work two different schedules. But put it this way. If you're the kind of guy who likes a shrewd investment, I'm sure I'll be seeing you again soon. You have a productive day now. You too, Mr. Walrus Man. Alfio. What a sick name. How do you even see with your hair covering your eyes like that? Do you know a doctor? Oh, Gautera? I think that's how you say that. Uh, I think I've heard the name before, but I haven't met him yet. I haven't been there long. Right. Anyways, Dr. Gautera is a good guy. Show me some exercises. It's been better since then. Cool. If you see him, tell him... Matteo says hi. We'll do. Should we take the bus? Oh. We like to gamble. Look at that. Good thing we stayed, man. It's right there. Now we're probably going to be like two hours early to work. Morning, Ingrid. Still not taking the elevator because I don't trust it. I'm here early. Nice of you to turn up before sunset. Yes, we're early. Have you got your file for today yet? No, I'm afraid not. Well, let's deal with that right away. Some of the beds have already been reassigned. Your tasks for today have been activated in your app. All right, shit. Straight into it, I guess. Oh, okay, so we got a new patient, P31. Uh, you got your hands full, so let's not waste any time. Among other things, we're looking after an old friend of mine today. She's in room P31. Oh, perfect. Please make sure she's looked after. Uh, but don't lose sight of your other responsibilities, okay? All right, they ain't got to worry about that. I'm on time. I'm early this time, too. Hello, Mia. Hey, hold on. We, we haven't talked to Mia yet. I mean, she's probably busy. I don't want to, you know, intrude, but... Hey, Mia. Morning, Finley. Didn't catch you yesterday. Still wanted to talk to you. When we get the chance, you've got to tell me what happened to you and Mr. Andre... I don't know why I said Andres. Um dyslexia maybe uh but i've got a lot of work to do right now i'm afraid maybe later okay yeah that's what i thought all right let's visit the turtle the color definitely changed on the fur right i'm not i don't need to admit myself is this is this your mom guliano finley my friend i brought my mom i knew it i'm so good that's why i'm a doctor may i introduce her this is my mother, Irma. Good morning. Hello there. She collapsed on the sidewalk. Oh, no. Must have fainted or something. It's the first time this kind of thing's happened to her. So I figured we better get a specialist to check her out. All right, I'll take a look. You hear that, Ma? Finley hasn't lived in Porcupine long, but I know him. He's a good kid and a great doctor. Well, aren't I the lucky one? You sure are, ma'am. Me and Ma wanted to meet up for breakfast. She wanted to enjoy the sunny morning and go for a walk. She said it might be the last sunny day after the year, or of the year. It's not far, but she seemed very tired when I saw her. We didn't even have time to say hello properly before her legs gave way. She couldn't stop coughing, so we came straight here. Shame, I was looking forward to that breakfast. I will get you some breakfast, baby, don't worry. French toast and applesauce, I'm pretty sure the cafeteria got that. And a coffee? Oh, yeah, hell yeah. My lungs hurt more than I've ever felt before. That does not sound good. That, ha that happens sometimes, really? That's a normal thing? Can you tell me again what happened this morning? I was on my way to see my son. Uh, it was such a lovely morning. Felt like the last day of summer. Yep, yep, we, we know all this. Uh, even though I can already smell the fall, can you smell it too? Oh, okay, never mind. I thought she meant like her actual fall, not like fall after a few meters my breathing got very heavy such a waste of beautiful fall air couldn't really enjoy it my breathing got faster and faster i just reached my marketplace when i started feeling very dizzy this sounds like a heart attack right that's usually what happens right you start to struggle breathing and then you start to get a little Tipsy. I'll let you get some rest, but I'd like to make a few more notes on the diagnosis. Sooner we find a solution, the sooner I can get a hold of my French toast. Just sit tight. We'll have... Oh, wait. 
that might have been a text box for her because that'd be fucked up. He was like, oh, yeah, by the way, I'm going to go get some French toast. The breakfast that you wanted, I'm about to go get that shit. Uh, find the correct symbol combination. A uh, blue mark indicates that you've got the right symbol, but in the wrong position. Green mark indicates that you've got the right symbol in the correct position. Got it. So blue, you got shit to do. Green, uh, you got it. Okay, yeah, first symbol, death. Okay, so green symbol is in the correct position. So we'll keep that there. So eyeball, death, heart, and then foot. Shit, dude, we got to get this first try then. Okay, the only one that we don't have is hand, right? Because the eyeball didn't do shit. Please be this one. Oh, fuck. Oh, no, wait. We're good. Okay, so... uh, Foot? Yes. Oh, hell yeah. I messed up. We should, we could have gotten it one before, uh, but I accidentally put the, the heart. I, I, you know, it's fine. We still got it. We got very, very close, but we got it. Symptoms are relatively clear. I think it's early stage of pneumonia. Uh, yeah, that's not good. Uh, things don't seem so bad for now, but we'll keep you here as a precaution. Better safe than sorry, right? Hell yeah. You're a nice young man. I'm glad you're my doctor. Thank you. I'll do my best to get you well uh, again as soon as possible. See you later. Ah, how you do that, Finley? You got a minute? Sure. What can I do for you? I know she's in good hands with you. That's all I can ask for. We'll get Irma back on her feet. I know, I know. I'll head out then. I gotta finally reopen Gilbert's today. Don't take this personally, but I hate hospitals. The smell makes me anxious. Yeah, it is kind of a weird smell. Like, even though it's, like, clean, it kind of feels, like, stagnant. Like, dead air, almost. I think he's afraid that he's gonna lose her. Hey, yeah, Martin, I definitely remembered your name. I was thinking about my daughter, our argument. I'm the same when I can't sleep. I'll spend the whole night turning problems over in my head. Is your stomach any better, at least? My stomach? Now you mention it. It is feeling better, yeah. That's good to hear. Your trouble sleeping could be a side effect of your medication. I'll make some adjustments to your dosage. Oh, boy. Oh, dude, we can't drop the blue all the way. Oh, that's no bueno. Yeah, there's no possible way for us to do this. Oh, that's bullshit. Well, this is as good as it's gonna get. Shit, I didn't even see the grade. I don't even want to see the grade. All right, let's go visit the piggy. I could barely sleep last night. Everybody in here got trouble sleeping, man. Uh, yeah, I get that. The nights can be long when you're in a hospital. Ain't that the truth? How's the cough? Much better. That's what I want to hear. I'll just give you a quick check over then, okay? Sure. You need me to do anything? Just what you're doing right now. That's plenty. All right. Let's look at your lungs. Don't you mean listen? What? You're just going to listen to my lungs, right? Or are you going to cut me open? I don't want people looking at my lungs. Oh, right. Yeah, sorry. Just a turn of phrase. I'll only be listening to your lungs. Don't worry. This guy. Does he really think we're just going to cut him out here and open? Nailed it. Your lungs haven't quite recovered fully yet. Is that bad? No, nothing to worry about. I think if you stay in bed all day and take it easy, we can send you home tomorrow. Okay. Is everything okay? Yeah, I guess. I just wish I could have gone home today. I get that. But believe me, it's better if we keep you in just for one more day. Better for the bill on our end. Doc, can I tell you something? Sure. What is it? My cough was pretty bad last night. It kept me up all night. And it hurt a lot, too. It's good that you told me that, Larissa. You know you can tell me anything, right? Believe me, I want to get you out of here as soon as possible, too. Okay, Doc. Thanks. Any tips for how to kill time around here? We have a TV in the break room. If you feel like it, you can sit down there and make yourself comfortable. We've got tea and coffee, too. Don't think coffee or tea is good for somebody that's... Uh, oh, well, that was their lungs, right? Not their heart. Uh, I guess it'll be okay, caffeine. Hey, Doc, I got beef with you. You set me up to fail on that second room, man. You didn't give me all the right prescriptions and shit. Shit, we got a B. Man, that middle one, that one was bullshit. There was no way for us to even get close. Everything looks fine so far. Stay focused and don't get distracted while you work, okay? All right. Do you need anything else? No, 
thank you, but new patient. What about her? She's very friendly. Okay. I've known her for a long time, too. Take good care of her, Finley. You'll be in charge of her treatment. But don't neglect the others just because you think Mrs. DeCalma's nice. Personal considerations should never get in the way of your work. Even if you absolutely hate a person, always treat them to the best of your ability and understand it. Take a break now. In the meantime, I'll check on Mrs. DeCalma as well. Okay. Thank you for placing your trust in me. Do we get, like, new tasks? Oh, yeah, she wanted to talk, huh? You okay? Are you done for the day? I'm double done. Tired? Yeah, I'm having a hard time getting used to the shift work. Tell me about it. Have you eaten today? I'm so hungry. Isn't it known now that you mention it? Is there a word missing in there? I don't know. I can't English. Have you ever been to the cafeteria? Nope, and neither have I. We're taking the stairs. We're not taking the elevator, all right? We got to kill some calories so we can eat up. Because surprisingly, hospital food, not that bad. Oh, uh, yeah, what we grubbing on today? Hello, Miss... Miss, uh... I don't think we've met you. Hello, Sergey. That's definitely a health violation. You should not be scratching your nose with that. I can highly recommend the pineapple wrap. Sweet yellow fruit combined with crunchy lamb's lettuce and pickled artichoke hearts. That does not sound good. Oh, okay, hold on. I don't think cum should be in pasta. Sesame sorbet, that sounds good. Tomato tart. The ravioli with mashlonka. Mas <laughs> uh, we'll take the ravioli. I like Chef Boy ID. Uh, Mia, do you want the sea salt, Mussolini, or the cum? I mean, he recommended the pineapple wrap, right? So just, we'll get it on the side. How is it? The wrap? Um, interesting, I guess. What do you think of it? I'll be honest, I can't stand pineapples. <laughs> but I didn't want to complain. And I was so hungry, I didn't care. But I actually meant work. How's it going for you? We both started here just a few weeks. Wait a minute. I ordered the ravioli and the wrap. Why did we both get the wrap? And I just realized that we haven't even talked about our experiences yet. Sometimes that helps. To reflect on yourself, I mean. True. Somehow we haven't had a chance yet. Well, I think I like the St. Ursula's. I don't know that many hospitals yet, but I think we made a good choice. Yeah, probably. And the staff were really nice. That's true. But Dr. Krakowski can be pretty nasty. Yeah, she's really been eating me alive too. But I'll win her over. Sure, sure. I just wish I was more punctual. Every day I come rushing in at the last minute, and you're already here, ready to go. I need to work on that. Yeah. Bon appetit, my dear colleagues. I don't know if I can really trust you, man. You're an insurance man. If we get sick from this, can we talk to you about it? And get a check. I'm the executive director of St. Ursula's Hospital. Oh. So he owns the hospital. Pretty much. Trying to keep things running as smoothly as I can. And to fulfill the wishes of our dear chef physician. Wow. Chief. Chief physician. I cannot read today. Whatever. Theobald. I don't blame you for the incident with Mr. Andes. You're new. And mistakes happen. And I see no ill intent in your actions. You only wanted what was best for your patient. So much so that you put your own health at risk. Nevertheless, we've had to make certain accommodations for him. He's now at the best care center in the country where he will hopefully recover quickly. I'm glad to hear it. I hope he gets better soon. Anyway, enough of such matters. Let us look to the future and continue to make St. Ursula's Hospital a place of healing. I'm glad to have you both on board. That was interesting. Yeah. Are you done? I definitely am now. <laughs> Let's get back up to the ward then. Okay, so I don't think we're done for the day then. Where the fuck is my ravioli, man? Hold on, you got glizzies here? Why didn't you offer that? Man, are you serious? You piece of trash? Hello? Oh no. Somebody's fighting with a vending machine? Oh no, the elevator. Okay. Yeah, see? Good thing we didn't take the elevator. I think the voice is coming from here. Hello? Is there someone in there? No, the hospital just installed one of those new talking elevators. Okay, buddy, relax. The damn door's stuck. Why does this keep happening to me? We need to help him. Yeah, what can we do? We should get the janitor. He can open the door, right? 
McGregor, the old fart. He's the reason I'm stuck here in the first place. What? If he touches the elevator, it'll probably blow up. I'm going to wring his neck. What he? What, what, what did he do to you? Huh? I've just come from surgery on the second floor. That's where I saw the old bungler <laughs> skulking around. All right. Finley, you go to the surgery and find Gregor. I'll go back to our ward and stay on call in case anyone needs anything. All right. Sound like a plan. I don't know. Maybe Gregor told him that you couldn't take the stairs or something. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I guess they wouldn't let you take the stairs if you just got out of surgery. It's all. Uh, Gregor, what's up with that blasted light? I need your help. Yeah, yeah, everyone needs old Gregor's help. Won't even give me the time of day when everything's running smoothly. But one flickering light or squeaky door, and it's Gregor. This help that. Mr. Glendower, the elevator is stuck. Take it easy, kid. Can't you see I'm busy here? But there's someone stuck in the elevator. Give me a hand here, kid. There's a breaker panel at the end of the hall. Get over there and switch the breaker on when I give you the signal. But one thing at a time. This guy. You, well, I mean, look, in, in, in fairness, he's got to climb all the way down the elevator or the, the, the ladder and climb all the way back up. He didn't tell me. Okay. I was like, he didn't tell me left or right. I just went all the way right. We probably electrocuted the shit out of him. Holy shit, he's smoking. Finally. Oh, it's... Oh, wait a minute. Oh. I thought it was somebody coming out of surgery. Not like a doctor. I should have known. Carl, it's you. I've been wondering where you were all day. I knew that voice sounded familiar. I thought you knew it was me. Don't you recognize the angelic voice of your favorite colleague? Okay. Uh, but you've automatically become my least favorite now that you said some shit like that. Anyway, glad you're out of the elevator now. Oh, yeah, right. Freedom. Ah, that sweet, sweet scent. I thought I was going to die in there. Thank you, Finley. You really are a good buddy. I owe you one. Gregor, you old bungler, it's your fault I got stuck in there. And now it's my fault you're out again. You're welcome. I still don't know why it's his fault. Oh, maybe because he was messing around with the, the lights. But I mean, look, I ain't no electrician and shit. I, I don't think you should be connecting your light bulbs and your elevators together. I just, it seems like a bad idea. It's stairs only for me from now on. Hell yeah, stair gang, baby. Is there anything else I can help you with? Absolutely not. We're not helping out this bastard. Thanks again for the help, buddy. If you're up for it later, I'll buy you a drink at Gilbert's. Hell yeah, getting lit with the boys. He was complaining about needing to take stuff everywhere. He def yeah, what about the boxes? He left them all in the elevator. Guess I'll sort it out. Yeah, we ain't got to worry about all that. That's not our job. Where's the doc? Hey, Mia, you know where the doc is at? Yeah, she's in the break room. She tends to retreat there when evening starts closing in. I don't think she's really taking a break, though, what kind of, or, which kind of defeats the purpose of the room. I'll let her know I'm clocking off. Oh, okay, we're done for the day. Hell yeah. Okay, so she's going to go do some sports. Uh, she's on the school sports ground. Wait, school sports ground? We... Oh, she's an intern. Okay, yeah, so we still go to school. Or she, she does, at least. Hey, Doc, I'm leaving. Finley, I have a question. Do you have some other job here that I don't know about? Or two even? What do you mean? Well, you seem to have a lot in your mind whenever you're here. Otherwise, you would presumably be doing your job. I'm done for the day. What are you talking about? Your treatments today were okay, but that doesn't mean you can clock off early. Don't take this personally. I don't enjoy putting these things out. I do it because it's my job. Don't assume that the rest of the team can make up for every shortcoming. Just as you rely on others, they must also be able to rely on you. Please think about what I've said. But Carl was, I know. And I also know that you were helping him. Nevertheless, I need to make sure we're clear on this. Thank you for your work today. Tomorrow is your first night shift, as I'm sure you know. That will give you another chance to prove yourself. Okay. Listen. It, you know what? You're not even worth it. I'm clocking out. See, and I knew 
she was going to say some shit. And that's why I didn't ask if he needed help or anything. I got my ass back to where I needed to be. Excuse me. Uh, Good night, Ingrid. Excuse me for wanting to prevent an insurance claim. There you are. How's it looking? Are you going to come down to sports court with me? I want to get some exercise tonight. Hell yeah. All right. Come on then. Race you to the school sports court. Well, that's not fair because I don't know where that's at. I really hope that's the doctor's car. Do doctors get paid by the hour? If any of y'all are doctors, let me know. Because I feel like, I mean, yeah, your your main priority, help people and all that. Yeah, cool. But it's really to get the bag, right? I mean, that paycheck must be nice. Or is it a salary kind of thing? If it's a salary kind of thing, I feel like that's bullshit. (gasps) Cause you're constantly on call. Your hours, I'm assuming, very drastically. Damn, she got ready, bro. She pulled out the fit. She got the J's on. Oh no, she's going barefoot. You know that she mean business. What do you think? After a long day, I need to work off a bit of energy. The university clinic where I used to work had its own sports field. I discovered this hidden gem last week. I hereby present to you. Nice. So you want me to join in? That's the plan. Today we're playing basketball. You know how to shoot hoops, right? Oh, pff, do I. Ankles, baby. That's four below right there, man. Uh, that's the only one I know. 21 crimes. That's another one, right? Snoop Dogg. Hell yeah. Oh, shit. Was that good? Hell yeah. Amia, you suck. Special basketball. Special bas... Oh, that's not a special basketball. I thought we got it special because uh, we got a super... This game is loud, by the way. My ears are bleeding. Oh, yeah, we rocked that shit. Wow, there's a whole bunch of people here now. You really showed me. Yeah, you didn't make a single shot. Were you, like, the official bench warmer? The water lady? I didn't know you were so good. Hey, well, hey, yeah, me. I think you just caught me on a good day. Nah, man, don't be humble like that. Own that shit. Float like a pigeon, sting like a beetle. This was fun. I'm, I'm glad that we decided to kick it with her. So, Finley... How do you like it here? Not just work, in general. Porcupine. It's nice here. I mean, I kind of haven't had much time to get to know the town yet. I haven't even unpacked all my boxes yet. And then I was out for action for a while. Feels a bit like when I first started university. A little lonely. Really? But you're already fitting in so well. How do you mean? Well, somehow you get along with everyone here. And it feels like I don't know anyone yet. I feel a little lonely. Every time I move town, it gets a little harder, somehow. I had a few friends in uh, school. Even at university, I struggled to meet people. And in Porcupine, I really only know the people from the hospital. You really think I'm fitting in well? Totally. Funny. I feel the same way as you, actually. Really? That's a surprise. I haven't had much free time so far. And when I do, I never have the energy to do anything. It's tough to get to know anyone. But I've made up my mind not to get bogged down in work. I want to make sure I always have some energy for trying out new things. Meeting new people. Maybe even making some friends. I'm sure we'll both find friends here. And whenever you want to try something new, you can always let me know. I will. But that's enough for today, I think. I'm starving. I need uh, to make something to eat. Besides... Some of us have the early shift tomorrow. It's your first night shift, right? Yeah, I hope it goes all right. I'm sure it will. I believe in you. But I've got to run now. See you tomorrow night. Can't wait to sleep in tomorrow. Hell yeah. Good night. Oh, wait, hold on. If we work the night... Oh, no. We can't... Huh? No. I wanted to go to Gilbert's. Damn it. All right, fine. I guess we'll sleep. My apartment's a mess. Actually, it's not that bad, is it? Uh, it's okay. I mean, it's only going to get messy again anyway. Okay, yeah, you cannot be thinking like that. (laughs) And then I'll just have to tidy it up again. Come on, man. I know you live on your own, and you're probably not getting any, but still, like, have some better health practices and shit. All right, well, our day has been completed, so we'll end it off here, and then next episode, we'll start off by cleaning up here, because... 
look, Finley, I get it. It's your own place. You're not really looking to impress nobody. But still, man, you got to keep your environment clean. Because you you got you resonate with your environment. You know what I'm saying? So if your environment is shit, you're going to be a piece of shit. We don't need that. We're doctors. We're at the peak of society. Just kidding, because that's gamers. Anyways, <laughs> oh, hopefully y'all enjoyed this episode. If you did, go ahead and like the video. Sub, click the bell icon. Follow me on Twitter. Let me see in the comments all that good stuff. Appreciate y'all. Much love, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.